today. We're down in Los Angeles and I'm here with my good friend Michael and we're here to interview him and his amazing dog, Addy, who holds the world's record for the mm -hmm. longest wave surfed by a dog. This is Abigail, or Abby for short, and Michael is her owner. And when did you first get her? Oh, I got her about 12 years ago in 2006 now. Oh, very cool. From the Silicon Valley Humane Society, actually. Yeah. When I got her, she was very traumatized. She was found in a high, on a highway. And uh, so one of the things that we had to do was get her out of her shell. Yeah. And because dogs are very athletic, I noticed she was the most confident when she was running. And so we did a lot of running and then from there graduated to cycling and then, you know, dog followed me everywhere. So paragliding, uh, rollerblading. How did you know that she would take to paragliding? And then how does that whole get up work with that? Well, I used to paraglide a lot down in San Diego um, and uh, she came with me, but she used to have to sit on the on the landing zone and wait for me to come back so there's actually a couple dogs that paraglide with their owners and most of them are smaller dogs and they have these small harnesses abby was a little bit bigger so we had to jerry rig something but uh you know it worked out and she just hangs from my harness and then once i sit down in the rig pull her up onto my lap kind of like this and uh we just go flying and she sits around up there does she enjoy it i think she does she's falling asleep uh, almost every time she starts out by by looking at she's obviously very comfortable being up in the yeah, air yeah. <laughs> probably doesn't even realize she's so high up you know i i don't think she realizes <laughs> that sometimes it's such a weird perspective for a dog i think um you know like when you fly you don't see yeah. you don't care how high it is it's different yeah what what was it like for her the first time you took her up um i think it was pretty peaceful you know she liked the she was like sticking her head out the car window she was sniffing things and then Oh, where are you going, Abby? <laughs> yeah, no, she was sniffing the air and then looking at kind of the squirrels and the side of the cliff, and then she fell asleep. How did this whole surfing thing come about? Well, surfing was truly an accident. Um, you know, I used to swim. I, I didn't surf. Um, she surfed before I did. We were swimming in the ocean. She followed me out, uh, looked tired, so we put her on some random person's surfboard, and then... Uh, you know, she she was fine on the surfboard. She didn't she didn't crouch down. She kind of stood up and looked like she was trying to get her balance, and she did it. So we thought, oh, push her in a wave, see if she'll ride it, and she enjoyed the ride. Then did you learn to surf then afterwards as a result of her kind of picking up the whole surfing thing? Yeah, yeah. It was about a year before I finally caved in and was like, all right, I guess I'm not <laughs> just a swimmer anymore. I, I better have some surfing credibility behind me. Yeah, I developed this unique skill. So you're her assistant pretty much. <laughs> uh, yeah, I developed this unique skill of being able to push a dog uh, on the tip of my board out to the outside, turn around and throw him back in a wave. How did the whole uh, Guinness World Record surfing thing come about? Oh, um, that was just a crazy idea one year. The surfing contest organizer and I were talking. How far do you think you guys go? Like, how far are you out there? And I was like, oh, no, you know, we should, you know, measure it. Maybe we can just make it a record and then see if, like, other people want to try and beat it. And then that progressed into trying the Guinness World Record, I guess, and then... The record is for the longest distance. Wave, wave surfed by, surf by a dog. Yeah, awesome. yeah. And she's actually, she, so she set it at 60. And it was funny because when we called Guinness, they were like, oh, okay, we have to research this attempt because it's never been done before. Mm -hmm. And I was like, so what's the minimum? They're like, the minimum should be 100 yards. I was like, where did you get that? That's, that's 100 <laughs> yards is really long, yeah. even for a regular surfer. He goes, oh, well, we researched it online, and there was this guy that said his dog surfed about 100 yards. And I went, oh, yeah, that was me. <laughs> I think I was bragging to some reporter one, after one contest. And I said, you know what? I think on average, most dogs do about you know, 10, 20. If we could triple that, 60 yeah. yards. So we, we got, they gave us 30 yards, and you know, we, we did 60. Yeah. And so I set the record. Um, and then... Just because I was pissed off at myself, we actually did it again, and we made a second attempt, and we got a second certificate for a hundred and some yards. Yeah. So we actually did it, 
Um, so now I can say that it was, it was more <laughs> than just a brag. Well, we would love to see some footage of her surfing. There tons of footage. So, okay, awesome. We're gonna share that with you right now. Thanks for joining me today and hope you enjoyed meeting Abby and Michael. You can follow Abby on her Instagram and YouTube channel at Abby Surfs, A-B-B-I-E-S-U-R-F-S. Keep it chill and until next time, peace.